is going on guys wise here and i'm coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0 uh this was our weekend arranged matchup versus the dark avengers yes the wonderful people over at dark avengers this is a really good clan they brought the heat this war uh was a very back and forth war wasn't um was not a flawless uh, performance on either side and it just was one of those ones where uh yeah, it literally like this the swing of favor of the war it just kept going back and forth and it could have been anyone's anyone's war in the end but let's check it out 84 83 2.0 does steal the victory here uh but like i said wasn't it the best performance on either side um let's just first check out them they did miss uh our number one getting that two star there so that ended up really hurting them uh because that would have been a tie game for them even if they had left a few of these tens on the board like they did uh, three tens they ended up leaving on the board, and we forced part of the reason they left those tens and left that 11 up there is because our nine defenses were just fantastic. This war, they had um, six bullies, I want to say they ended up uh, using. Where are we here? Da -da -da. So, Bucko and down is all of our nines. Uh, so, Bucko forced a bully and four attacks, days forced four attacks. Um, is no he's not uh three you know three attacks on dirt four attacks on the wise man three attacks on Kadic. i think they bullied me yeah sorry four attacks and a bully actually i'm gonna do a little special episode guys i've been thinking of doing this for a little while um i was gonna call it like this old house or this old base uh and just take one of the bases that i've been using for a while and try to keep secret for as long as possible and i'm about to finally hit the uh hit the edit button and create a new one over top of it um and generally these bases i mean if i build a new base which i always build new bases and it doesn't do very well in a war or two then i'll definitely retire it especially if i think it's been exposed as a fresh hit triple um but this base has been defending really well, and uh, I'm going to do a different episode where uh, I'll show you the attack specifically from Missile War on the base, and I'll show you the bully and how they finally bullied it for the three, and just kind of show you about the base, and I'm going to end up scrapping it, so I know if people don't like building bases out there, feel free to steal it, use it, tweak it, do what you want with it, but uh, I thought that would be some kind of cool content to bring to you guys, uh, because really, like, you keep going down in our nines, right? Three defenses for mouthpiece and Caddick there, right? Uh, Patino Force 4 as well. And a bully, but you look at the bullies one, two, uh, three, four, five, six bullies. I want to say we forced there, so that really set us up up top. And we had our own struggles. Um, pop on over, we'll check it out. So we did get one of their 11, so that was kind of nice, but at the expense of leaving a few of their tens on the board, uh, which we've been having a pretty good success rate lately of clearing all the tens again, like the domino effect. I always talk about um, our nines uh, struggled as well on Dark Adventures nines. We left, we forced, they forced two bullies from us. Uh, so that kind of left our 10 shorthanded a little bit. Uh, the Town Hall 11 triple was the, the, the steal of the war. That, that triple secured the war for us and secured the victory. But like I said, it could have went either way. Uh, there was definitely some extreme clutch moments for both sides and some not so clutch moments for both sides and it just kept going back and forth anyways dark avengers great war we got a long recap ahead so let's watch some replays oh real quick i will show where is it they did have one that forced a bully and four oh, let's go here uh not dirt produce hit there this one right here uh who sam this was the base we really struggled with as you can see we struggled with a few of them same same down right three hits on that one four hits there five hits there four hits there four hits there um right very uncharacteristic for our nine so uh nice base building hats off to you guys over at dark avengers i will be kind of uh looking diving into this one a little bit too 24 who um if you want actually we'll just check that out real fast before we get into the replays because i'm obviously not going to show the uh the bully on it but uh just overall you know fairly harmless fairly large compartment base spread out um you know air defense is really heavily kind of on this side uh, I know if I had attacked this base, I absolutely would have done my Veiler attack from uh, between 9 and 12 because there's no air defense there. I would have just funneled things off, let probably the Queen walk down this way, let my Bowlers walk up and around the top because all this stuff is targetable by the Bowlers. Maybe not that Expo until they get to that little nook. but And then send the Valks in right at the King Chamber. And what you're going to cause there is just basically the Valks kind of running rampant through the base. Uh, you know, the, all the healers are going to be safe from the air defenses and then everything's going to meet up with the 
queen chamber. I don't know, just an idea. But uh, yeah, it gave, gave us a lot of struggles. Chad ended up cleaning it up for us for the bully. So thank you very much, Chad. I know dipping sucks. Just had to do in the Invicta War, actually. Uh, Victor's matching Swarm right now. The Swarm, I should say. And uh, really struggling. Uh, I think the Swarm's gonna, might come away with this one. Uh, but hats off. Those are a bunch of fantastic... Uh, very skilled individuals over there too, but anyways, Dark uh, Dark Avengers, one more time, thank you for the war, was uh, was one of those nail biters down at the finish. Check out the very bottom, Robbie Boy here. Uh, Rob had a six pack. Uh, we had, a, again, like, you know, four guys, four of our nines had six packs. We had a town, an FE actually um, had a Town Hall 10 versus 10 six pack. So that really, really also helped us win the war. Between FE and self fans, they really saved the day up top for us. Um, and yeah, so Rob's going in with this, this shattered bowl aloe, just going right in at the queen chamber, very heavy on the wizards, get all those buildings down, nice wide funnel, going to go ahead and open up the wall successfully, send in the king, send in the bowlers, I might have dropped the bowlers a little bit higher just so they went in, maybe like wrapped around, but he does lose a couple here down to the outside, most of them going, so everything is going to be A-OK -okay here, nice raid spell placement for that, queen's going to get good benefit, step up right away with those bowlers, poison's going to go down, heal goes down, take care of the kill squad there, while they're taking fire from the clan castle troops and that defense of kings in there as well going down so you see this uh, army just gutting this core we've already got two air defenses uh the clan castle troops are dead the queen is dead the king is dead uh sorry here goes that second air defense i was just talking about uh and the queen is going to get even more value the queen's going to step up take care of an expo take care of a couple sweepers and one more air defense so we still have two Lava Hounds and 13 Balloons at this point. And Queen is now locked on. Down goes Air Defense number three. Hounds are going to move right on over to this last remaining Air Defense at six. Just going to sprinkle the Balloons in from all angles. Uh, and it's GG. There's no chance for this base whatsoever. It's two Hounds in there. Um, one does pop finally. He does not, unfortunately, I believe, get this second Hound to pop. Maybe he does at the very last moment. But has enough cleanup troops. Keeps a couple Balloons in the bag. Always, always. Always, guys. Yeah, that last second, perfect pop on that uh, on that lava hound. It is clean up time. Uh, but one thing with my Lalos, guys. Uh, although I'm using this blue velar attack pretty much all the time now. Um, fast forward that. <clears throat> I've been practicing my these bull Lalos exactly this army comp right here. And one thing I've really noticed: keep one or two balloons, uh, just like the old school Lalos. I've been talking about this forever. Always keep a balloon or two for uh, for cleanup or a wizard or something like that. But very nice tree in the bag for Robbie there and a sexy six pack. Uh, moving up the chains, 21. Going to check out LB here. Oh, Logic Beats bringing the dragons. Now, uh, these very sort of exaggerated meta bases, you're just asking for this. Look at this. Suicide King go in with the one giant. Do some tanking for those wall breakers. Opens up the wall. Bounces it right off that army camp. Right to that air defense. There. Boom. Objective complete. Air defense number one is down. Let's go ahead and suicide the queen in on the other side. We literally do not need healers. We do not need funneling troops. We just need to drop our queen. Walk her right into this air defense. And down goes air defense number two. King even manages to yank out these clan castle troops, even though it doesn't really matter because when you're bringing nine dragons, a bunch of archers and a baby dragon are not going to do a thing to it. Goes ahead and pops that ability on that queen who steps up and ends up getting the expo as well in the process here. One more shot, down it goes. So let's go ahead. There's only one more air defense to go. We zap quake the one up by the queen chamber. We're going to drop a lava hound in on the six o'clock air defense. Will the dragons take care of all this? High hit point trash on the outside. As soon as they work their way through that, raid spell is going to go down. Bam, down goes that last remaining air defense. Gets a burst on the hound as well. Uh, does lose most of the puffs to that Tesla farm there, but it's fine because they kind of distract the Teslas for just enough time till the dragons get right on top of them. Down go the Teslas. Down go the expo. Goes ahead and drops a couple troops on the outside here. Uh, triggers a black mine, which is very, very, very crucial when you're doing these dragon attacks. You can use a loon or even a baby dragon to start triggering these black mines to, to conserve your dragons. That's what it's going to come down to. But as you can see, really, the, the defensive queen in there uh, isn't going to pose a problem whatsoever. Dragons are just going to get sucked right in on top of her. There's this little builder side. That's what, I would have dropped that minion out there on the builder side, but no big deal. It's got plenty of time. Four dragons to go. Little archer helping out up top. Down goes that defensive queen I was talking about. Just got to work through the rest of this trash. It's going to be a tree in the bag for LB. Down goes that king. 
<clears throat> just got to work over to the Builder's Hut. I should have checked the time on this raid. That's always an issue with dragon attacks is time. Time, time, time. Tree in the bag for LB. Nice job, buddy. Uh, 18. Derp a dude. Another six-pack champ here. Bring in uh, just a stone goho. Uh, I guess stone stone boho, whatever you want to call it. Go boho. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what the kids are calling it these days, but it is a stoned goho with bowlers in the CC. That's all it really takes. Um, this is sort of an interesting base design. It's sort of symmetrical. Kind of creates this wheel effect on the base. Um, I find this happens with some of my base designs as well. You almost create this natural sort of a circle around your base. It's, it's not a ring base by any means. It's it's definitely, you know, it's not a forum base or anything by any means, but it kind of just the way he designed it, and I know it's sort of unintentional. He's allowing, once you kind of work things in, to just work in a circle around the base. And that's what I talk about quite frequently in recaps. When you're attacking, you ideally just want to try and get your troops all moving in this unison direction in a in a nice kill squad group keeping them protected and just feeding troops in to reinforce from the outside and just kind of moving in this circle so you're going to see how this sort of pans out the golems do take a hike over the jump but the king ends up rerouting anyways as soon as the queen takes down that expo she's going to join up we can see everything's kind of just moving now get down to the queen chamber they're going to continue their way down towards six o'clock and it's kind of keep going right it sends the hogs in from the other side the idea here is to get the hogs going in the opposite direction meet everything up around six o'clock here keep them healed and he's going to be looking good still has like those three golems he brings just gets some huge huge tanking value still has one unburst there standing in front of the queen standing in front of a few of those bowlers hogs are doing their thing down at six o'clock there's really no threat whatsoever not a lot of potential dgb spots in this base uh, fine people are really getting away from those sort of designs because a lot of a lot of the town hall nine attacks don't even involve hogs anymore so but as you can see it's clean up time for derp adu sexy six pack my friend Boom. All right. The wise man. So again, like I said in the last my last recap, um, you know, I just have that backpack six packs now versus Podic Darkness and Dark Avenger. And I, the only reason I'm telling you that is nothing to do <laughs> with that I'm happy that I got six packs, of course I am, but um I'm, I'm using this Veiler attack. Seven healers, 11 Valks, right? A little bit of funny little troops, bowlers in your clan castle. Um, the idea here, guys, like I explained last time, is you just want to protect your queen and protect your bowlers. Mainly, it's not even that you're protecting them. You're protecting their healers. So see where I dropped the queen here? I, I recognize the air defense there. As long as I kind of funneled off that, that army camp in this area over here. Queen was just going to walk down towards this alleyway, right? Take out the defensive queen in the process. Um... Also, lure the clan castle over here in one sec, maybe. Uh, so once the queen goes down, I can freely drop these bowlers over here. I don't have to worry about the queen jumping down and, and picking them off while they're doing their funneling work. Drop a wizard to help out. The idea here was I'm going to drop some Valk all my Valkyries and King here and just sort of route them into this alleyway. The good old open alleyways, right? I try and abuse them when I can because when you leave sections open like that in the base, it really helps. So the queen's going to kind of walk her way around, join up. All the Valks are now in. So I go ahead. It, it, very weird moment here for a sec. This Valkyrie runs rampant, sucks a few of the troops back. I was a little worried here for a second because then the king stops on the uh, wall there. So I end up healing the Valks and uh, raging the Valks on the core. Just want to keep them moving through the base. But see how they split up? I was really worried at this point. You do not want that to happen. You want the Valk uh, you know, death ball to just go through the base, all be standing under the heels at the same time, but just enough stay together. I keep them healed. I say, you know what? I got the healers down on my heroes with a couple Valks down at six. They're going to work their way outside. If I had just it dropped that heal there and kept those Valks alive for just enough time to allow this baby drag to also get in there and do a little bit of work. I take just enough of the core. Uh, that, that Valk lasts just long enough. Like you, you're going to see like this. I, I kind of get it by the skin of my teeth. But that's the thing about this attack, guys. Like Things can go very wrong, and it still has very positive results for you. So something to think about, like, look at all these healers standing this king. This king is not going to die to any of this stuff. I have used the ability, if mine does kill one of the healers off, but there's just too many healers, right? Nothing to take him down. Still have a few Valks escorting the king there. Uh, Queen's even on the outside hanging on by, uh, by a thread there, and it's a three in the bag. 
with the blue Veeler, man. Like, seven healers. It's just... I don't know what it is. Lime Killer. <laughs> I wreck a lot of his bases with it. And he's like, seven healers just isn't even fair. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous, guys. I really recommend trying this attack out. It's very, very, very forgiving, uh, especially if you're a younger Town Hall 9. Uh, you can do that with lower level heroes. The Valkyries really do a lot of work of the kill squad work for you. So you don't need to worry about having level 30 heroes. You can probably do this level 20 heroes, no problem, because you're bringing a dozen Valks to go with your king that you get pushed to that queen. You get pushed to those those bombs or whatever the hell you, you really want to take out. Um, really, really effective strategy, guys. I feel I think it's the most under underrated uh, Town Hall 9 strategy at this at this point in time right now. Anyhow, moving on. 15, real quick. Leo Liger, another six-pack champ here. <clears throat> One of our Air Masters, him and Z-Bear, uh, go head-to-head -head for uh, the Air Master title. Uh, Leo's really putting up uh, putting up a challenge, I'll tell you that much, because he brings these, uh, these stoned entries and just gets huge push into your base and gets a lot of air defenses get a gets a big chunk of the base uh just gutted and brings 14 balloons for the sort of outer compartments on the way doesn't bring any sort of zap quakes it's just sort of a uh, very old-fashioned sort of stoned max attack style i love it out comes that clan castle poison's gonna go down queen locks on right away anyways uh everything's kind of locked onto this uh king and queen down here for a moment everything's gonna jump right on into the base now under the Rage, still has not hit that King ability. Finally, is going to hit it uh, once he gets up to this section. Everything's going to take that jump, and all the air defenses are accessible, right? He blew uh, the double jump, uh, brings a heal and a Rage, and really only one haste for his, uh, for his air attack here. So air defense number two goes down. King hits that ability on air defense number three. Down it goes. And as soon as that Dark Elixir stores goes down, everything's going to target this next air defense. And air defense number four is down. Still hasn't even deployed his hound. The hound goes right onto the arch tower because it really has nowhere to go. Again, you're not 100% sure. You always want to bring that hound just in case. But sprinkling the balloons, few per defense. Good old-fashioned uh, style there. Bam, bam, bam. That archer tower is not going to stand a chance against that many balloons coming into the base. Saves one for cleanup. Per usual, the, the mark of the master, Lalower, right there. Beautiful attack, Leo. Great six-pack, my friend. Kablam. All right. Enough Town Hall 9. Let's get on to Z10s. We'll start this off with Dennis. Good old Nina. Dennis, uh, Dennis is Nina's real name, so I call him Dennis. <clears throat> he gets a couple minis down here, uh, bringing a very sort of... Uh, the, I think the next few attacks I'm going to show here, they're all this shattered uh, boner style here. You're going to see uh, just gets a gets a few minis down just for free buildings up there, but goes ahead and drops the golems down at the uh, um, 7 o'clock location. A few wizards down, just creating that funnel. Just letting his golems do all the tanking there. Drops that queen, drops that king. Going to funnel everything in. Some bowlers in behind. Uh, Going to get a uh, jump spell down right over top of that king. Nice early poison goes down for the uh, defensive heroes and the clan castle. Out comes the clan castle. Second poison is going to go down. There it goes. But everything's in there, right? Queen's in there under the rage. She's going to get big value. Lock onto that Inferno Tower here at one moment. Take care of the Clan Castle troops in the process as well. Down it goes. So he go ahead, goes ahead and sends in the Miners down from the 12 o'clock. These, uh, these original minis really help just kind of creep that funnel, get everything. All the Miners pushing to this section of the base. They want to get that second Inferno Tower down as soon as possible. And it does go down. Nice heal spell. Right as soon as the Inferno Tower goes down, going to bring all those Miners right back up. Queen's still in there doing work. He's got two more heals for these miners no inferno towers to worry about a lot of dps down here in this uh, three o'clock location but those two heels are going to keep those miners going very very pretty attack dennis finally his queen goes down there but the miners are in there doing their things got a, they got a couple expos a couple cannons and a wizard tower to get through and one more heel still in the bag to go <clears throat> down goes that last heel Expo, kind of weird pathing. It would have been nice for them to go through this expo first, then onto the town hall. Does have to backtrack a little bit in this attack, but no big deal. <clears throat> Kablam, Kablam, miners doing their thing. So many miners left. 
Nice hit, Dennis. Tree in the bag. Um, next on the block. Ah, uh, the coffee tastes good today. Effie, six-pack monster, 10 versus 10. Really, really uh, helped give us an edge in this war. Uh, and you use basically the exact same attack for both of your hits. Now, the idea behind the attacks was look at this jump spell. It opens up this Inferno Tower compartment. Now, a uh, lot, of, lot of worries that you might have about that is someone might set you up to put a few bombs there so that when your bowlers all jump in... Um, they get smoked by a DGB, but that's definitely not the case. He's just got storages around there. So goes ahead and drops drops the rage nice and early. Everything under the rage, poison down over the heroes, poison down over the clan castle. Ferno Tower is down. Bowler's getting big value out of that under that rage. Queen was getting big value out of that rage. And goes ahead and sends to the miners after the funnel is created. Uh between the uh four and five o'clock position here. You're gonna just work the miners straight across the base. Work everything in a unison counterclockwise rotation. Like I said, everything's meeting up in this death ball. Miner's in there helping out the heroes now. Just kind of joins up forces with the kill squad. They're going to continue working. Take out that Inferno Tower. Heal spell is already down. So just got to get that Inferno Tower down. Those Miner's going to get healed right back up. Everything's going to move around in this counterclockwise rotation. Overlaps to heals. Do not, you know, Wizard Towers are very, very deadly to your Miner. Especially if they're, they're hung up on high hit point buildings, guys. You do need to heal those max Wizard Towers for Town Hall 10s. They're really going to rip through your Miners if they're standing above ground for too long. Hits that ability on that Queen like a boss. Has so many miners coming in now from the 12 o'clock. This base is definitely GG. Queen finally goes down, but it doesn't matter. There's 20 miners rushing in. Mortar goes down. Last building drops, and that's a tree in the bag for Effie. Nice job, buddy. Uh, next, I got Effie's next hit, and you're going to see the exact same idea here, right? This Inferno Tire compartment is accessible via one jump. No wall breakers, nothing. So you're not forcing that extra troop space um, just to get access to an Inferno Tower. So uh, Effie goes ahead and drops these two golems, gets his funnel created. You're going to see this. He doesn't drop them too wide. Um, I might have dropped one on this this cold storage just because. Uh, but no big deal, right? It's going to get it in the process. Nice patience on the, uh, on the jump spell here. Just letting his wizards clear things out. Boom. There goes the jump after the funnel's created. Going to send everything into this Inferno Tower compartment. A couple bowlers help things out. King goes down, queen goes down, there she is. Raid spell is down, going to get good push into that Inferno Tower compartment. Poison's down over the clan castle, over that queen. All minis come out of the clan castle, they're going to rock by that poison here in one second, just a matter of time, and down they go. Queen is in there doing work, king is now smashing through a wall, doing some tanking. Bowler's still getting good value. You know, he's got 50% of the base, and now in come the miners right at the town hall. Get the town hall and those high hit point stuff out of the way nice and early. They weren't even taking DPS hits while taking that stuff out. So down goes that heal, right? The king is another big threat to your miners, so good job on that heal and the poison for the uh, the king there, uh, JP. <coughs> miners, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Louise. Uh, the miners now moving in this cl uh, clockwise rotation, just kind of working their way down to six o'clock. Heal spells are down. Still has one more that's going to go down right over top six. Heal. Heal. Thought you were going to heal that wizard tower. There it is. I knew you dropped that heal there. Uh, it has just enough miners. Just trying to be patient enough to allow the miners to work through the stuff. So they are benefiting from that heal while taking out the defenses. But it's just got way too much left of this base. Even got a bunch of archers left from his uh, queen ability there working on that. Take out that air defense. few more shots on that uh, expo to go. But there's a bazillion miners for that. And it's a tree in the bag and a six pack for my friend JP. Nice job, man. All right. JJ, this was a... Very, very sexy attack. Good old dragon attack. Just like the PD recap, guys. Um, what I was talking about, let's check this out. Grounded Expo. Grounded Expo. And Grounded Expo. Well, we also have a hole in the base. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Uh, maybe trying to sucker some things in. But nice, easy lure if he chose to. I don't know. Very, very sort of strange base design here. But JJ's going to go ahead. Double zap there. Uh, get good value start just goes ahead and drops these drags right away uh one thing you'll usually see is 
the suicide heroes going for this last air defense here usually that happens first but jj just says you know what i'm going right in with this air attack i want to get the dragons going early got to get these buildings down got to get them doing their work raid spell goes down with a few balloons that target that air defense down goes the air defense dragons are just getting good protection here that hound was doing great tanking for them now the rate on top of this core not a lot of high hit point stuff here either um so there was really just an inferno a bunch of teslas and a clan castle to uh to, for the dragons to work through no big deal so many income these suicide heroes now from six o'clock so they're uh i bet he was kind of worried because uh oops, sorry you kind of zoom in here <laughs> look what happens he really needs this air defense to go down if the dragons get caught up on that town hall while that air defense is up and his king goes this way his queen goes this way at this point he must be like oh shit she does take the hike back hits the ability takes down the air defense probably the clutchest queen moment of the war could have quite easily i'm so surprised in fact she did not go over to that lab she went back to that air defense just clutch moment for that queen and look at this look at this clutch dragon over here too believe this dragon with his last breath of fire oh gets it i wish you could click on troops to see their hit points but just enough to go it's gonna be a tree in the bag for jj very nice hit my friend jj is one of our lower lower tens too right hitting uh Hitting a pretty, pretty damn decent base. You know, 38, 35 heroes. Definitely not max heroes. So, really nice hit, JJ. Sexy, sexy. All right. Now, attack of the war. That one. Guns had a six-pack for us on these top two ten, So, that's really good. Of course, they're bullies. But still, nonetheless, need to get those. And South Fence had the six-pack. One against an 11. And we're going to check this out. South really mastering this boner attack. Goes in and drops the golem right up the middle. Heroes, Warden, King, everything in behind. And we're just going to four-finger drop these uh, Miners on either side. We're going to get a couple Wizards to kind of try and help continue to push the Miners along. Um, and keep them sort of alongside the kill squad. Bowlers go in under the, uh, under the uh, protection of that Grand Warden. Finally, that eagle becomes active. Of course, locks right onto his king, but no big deal because he's going to work right into this core. He's about to hit that Grand Warden ability. As soon as everything gets through this clan castle, everything's going to go right on in. There goes that Grand Warden ability, keeping everything up while they work through the high hit point stuff. Jump on into this core and then start taking out these Inferno Towers. Bam, bam, bam. Down go the Infernos. Miner's doing the work on the outside. He does lose most of them. Um on the that he dropped on this side however look at all of them go on this side right it, it, because the kill squad kind of went that way they were protecting each other he's got so many miners left over here he still has all his stuff left in the core here king is just doing so much tanking queen ability is still active and now both inferno towers are down you know eagle is down everything is down there's just way too many miners and way too much hero coming through this core here to to deal with it right there's two archer towers a cannon and a mortar they don't stand a chance Bam, bam, bam. And that is a sexy, sexy TH11 triple from our boy Self Fence. Very nice, my friend. Very nice. Beautiful. All right. So, Dark Avengers, thank you again. Fantastic war. Can't, could have been anyone's war. Um, you know, no, no, I'm sure not you know, one of our best performances on either side. But when that happens and both sides kind of struggle a little bit, it makes for an amazing war because it's just back and forth, back and forth. Someone makes a fail. Then someone makes a cl super clutch hit. Someone makes a fail again. And it just it just goes back and forth. It was just, just absolutely fantastic. So thank you, DA. Uh, we will meet again. And I think I'm going to call it an afternoon. i got a lot of content I'm trying to pump out today. So uh, that'll do it here for Wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.